Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the longest in increasing subsequence problem from Lead Code. This is a Lead Code medium and the number for this is 300. So in the given problem, we are given with an integer array nums and we have to return the length of the longest strictly increasing subsequence. So let's see what a subsequence is. I think you might be knowing what a subsequence is. So a subsequence is a sequence of element in an array that retains the relative order but uh, not necessarily the consecutive positions like like here 2 3 7 are subsequence but they do not uh, have their consecutive positions like first 2 and then after 1 we have 3 they can come in any position but the relative order should be same like if 3 comes after 2 then it should come always after 2 like 7 comes after 3 so always it should come after 3 so we are going to solve this problem and find the longest increasing subsequence so in this if you see the longest increasing subsequence can be 2 3 7 and 18 which is of size 4 and all the other subsequences are uh, small uh, smaller in length as compared to this so let's see how we are going to do this. So we are going to do this using a binary search logic. And we will be solving this using a memory complexity of O of N. And we will be using an array tails. That, that would be representing the smallest ending elements of all increasing subsequence of length i plus 1. And we will be iterating over the array. So... First, we'll initialize the uh, tails array that will be of the size of same of the num size, and then we'll also keep a size variable to keep a track of the length of the longest subsequence. Now, one by one, <coughs> we are going to iterate through each element in the nums array, and then use binary search to uh, find the correct position of the element in the tails array, and then update the uh, cor corresponding position in the tails with the x like comparing with the previous value or tails of i we will be comparing if it is greater than or smaller than then we will decide what we will do and at the end if the x is greater than all the elements in the tails then we can append it to the last like suppose we our tails had uh, initially it had 10 then 10 and 9 then 10 9 2 now since we reach 2 which is the smallest we can uh, rewrite it as the tail tails of 0 becoming 2 and then we are having one by one increasing elements so we'll do the question in this way let's come to the coding section but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so the first step is the tails we have declared the tails of the size same as the nums dot length and then we have an int size equal to zero then we have to iterate over the x so initially j will be also equal to the size which we have in a slide that is 0 and while i is not equal to j we can iterate and find the middle position middle position will begin by i plus j by 2 and uh, if tails of middle element is greater is less than the x so tails of the middle element is less than the x that means we have to do an i equal to m plus 1 that is shift the starting position to the middle plus 1 otherwise we are going to shift the now in the other case the tails of m is greater than or equal to so in this case we can shift the ending position to m and uh, after this there is only one thing that we need to do 
tails of x equal to no, sorry tails of i equal to x we have defined i separately and if i equal equal to size then we do a plus plus of the size and simply return the size now this is the code let's see if it runs or not so the sample test cases are passed let's run for the hidden test cases as well so yes the hidden demo test case is passed at a good time complexity and a fair memory complexity the time complexity for the solution is o of n log n where n is the length of the input array and the binary search dominates the complexity so and also the space complexity is o of n because we are using an extra space this tails so you can also check the c++ python javascript solution by going into the solutions panel and this is my solution you can also get the approach the intuition the complexities the java code c++ python code javascript code and yes do remember to upload me i hope you understood the logic so thank you for watching the video do like the video share it to your friends and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching the video have a nice day